right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website. Free newsletter you can sign up for. Links in the description box, also for my social media links. Coming at you today with a quick video on how to eliminate mouth breathing. You know, my buddies always joke around, or when I listen to talk radio, if you listen to Jim Rome, a big cut down is, oh, those darn mouth breathers, you know, like you're inferior if you're a mouth breather. And to a certain degree, you might be. All right, now I'm not putting down mouth breathers. I'm a mouth breather myself. I've dealt with it for a long time. Ask anyone who knows me, I have crazy allergies 24 7 365 days a year i'm always blowing my nose i always have a kleenex with me at all times and this runs on my mother's side of the family almost everybody is like that so for me my entire life i have been a mouth breather until about three years ago i've really been able to get it under control and almost eliminate it completely so what are the big things first First things first, you always know what I'm gonna say. Diet, check your diet. What are you eating? We're eating a lot of processed foods. This could be a symptom or this could be a cause for mouth breathing, for congestion in the nose. All right, next, you know, same thing. If you eliminate all the processed foods, we still have this, this problem occurring. Next thing, go and get a blood test. See what kind of food allergies you have. Maybe you're still eating something that is causing the inflammation and the mucus to, to form and, and clogging the nose, clogging the sinuses. Next, this one, now, now it's gonna be, you can buy a saline solution where you kind of sniff it. I wasn't a fan of that. I tried it once or twice, wasn't a fan. So next, what is it? It's going to be exercise, practice. My old boss used to make fun of me when I first started performing this. It's forcing yourself to breathe through your nose. That's, that's what you have to do. You have to force breathe through the nose. Now, of course, be careful. Same thing, you know, when your ears are plugged, they'll say plug your nose and push. They say you can blow an eardrum or something. So be cautious when you're doing this. But once again, you've got to practice breathing through your nose. You've got to be able to open the pathways of the sinus and the nostril, you gotta be able to open it. And you've got to be able to practice it. We're coming back to that word, proprioception, being aware of what your body is doing. For me, like I said, mouth breather for 27 years, 28 years. So now, even when my nose is open, I still catch myself breathing through my mouth and I have to be aware, is my nose plugged? No, my nose is open. I'm just breathing through my mouth because it's instinct. I'm just used to doing it. I've done it for 27 years. Something that my body does. So once again, it's just practicing. And then it's slowing down that breath because it might be slightly open, but if you're trying to force something through it, it's not gonna work. So now we've got to slow our breathing and breathe in and out and breathe in and out. Slow down that breathing and find that little patch of air that's open or that little opening in the sinuses that's open and breathe through it and let the body know what you're trying to do. And for me, like I said, big sinus problems. A lot of people laugh when I do this, but my nostrils only one works at a time. So right now, like I said, right now the right nostril is working. Nice, left nostril, nothing, right? So I only have one that works. Anyways, my body's already messed up in that way. So it's really slowing down. And when I really slow my breathing down and control it, that other nostril will start to open. So once again, it's just practice, practice, practice. I used to do this at work when I was a landscaper. My old boss used to make fun of me. He's like, what are you trying to do? Suck your desk up from the ground? It's like, no, man, I'm working on my breathing. My, my nose is dysfunctional. I'm working on it. He used to make fun of me all the time. But you got to work on it. So once again, it's work on it. Breathe through your nose, and then once you've established the breathing pattern through your nose, now you just gotta be aware throughout the day when you're driving. Consciously aware of what you're doing. Stop getting lost in the music. This is another thing. You're gonna have to stop singing those songs. Turn, turn the radio off. Practice your breathing, because if you're singing, you're breathing through your mouth anyways, then you stop. If you have a dysfunctional breathing pattern, you're not gonna be able to switch back to your nose. 
You're going to be stuck in mouth breathing mode. Happens to me all the time. So stop singing the song. Stop, you know, you can keep the music on if you want. That's fine. But don't sing because when we talk, we're going to breathe through our mouth. And then we get stuck breathing through our mouth and get stuck in that pattern. So we just got to make sure that we are aware of what our body's doing. So there you go, folks. Hopefully that helps. Try it. Practice it. I'm on about a year now. And like I said, the, the no, it's working. But it's going to take time, consistency, and you're just going to have to stick with it. So I hope this video helps. Share this video with people that you know. Like these videos. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for another video.